Hello everyone and welcome to a new video by Less Tax to Pay. Today we're on Sage Business Cloud and we're going to do about recording daily taking. So if you're a pub, cafe, restaurant, hairdresser, anything that has a daily income amount that's taken via a variety of methods, card, cash, all that kind of stuff, we're going to record the, the income into a one account and then we're going to show a transfer into the bank account when the money hits from your card machine and everything else. So as you can see, we're in our dashboard here. What we need to do is go into the banking tab. Now normally if you haven't set up the account already, we'd need to go to new bank account, select the type cash in hand, give it a name, save, and that's the takings account set up. So if, you, if that's your first time, that's what you'd need to do. I've already set the takings account up in Sage Business Cloud. So what we then do is need to go to new, new entry, which is a cell slash receipt. We would then need to go to here, which is other receipt, because it's not coming from a customer, it's coming from another source. So what we need to do is paid into the bank account, select the, t select the bank account, the method, cash, card, whatever it may be, uh, today's date, the amount received. So the amount received could be 1200 pounds. Okay, it goes other income, thousand pounds plus VAT to so 1200 pounds okay now if your amount are split this is where you do the difference between the two so you might say actually only 500 pound is um, under 20 percent and the zero rated amount is 500 pound as well or 600 pound to make it the 1200 pound okay so that's where you can actually split and make sure that your VAT is correct uh, in terms of recording the right amounts of VAT. So now if I hit save, that will save that transaction. That's all done for today. Now if I wanted to do a new transaction, I'll just do new entry, receipt, other receipt, and say I want to do the day before, and it was for cash, and it was all VAT. So what I'll do is I'll get again a £1,200. It's automatically set it as a thousand pound plus VAT. It automatically defaults to other income, but it's still a sales nominal, so it doesn't really matter. Um, if you wanted to put it under 4,000, you can. Um, then I just hit save. So unless I need to separate it out for VAT purposes, I don't need to do anything. And as you can see here, it shows an activity of what you've recorded on a daily basis. Okay, and you can click these and go into them and it will show you what you've done okay you can also attach so if you have a z reading so if you have a till system and it produces a z reading you can actually attach the z reading to this if you wanted to just to give you that clarity on what you actually have done so you can upload the file there if you have a pdf of the file or a jpeg or something like that so as you can see we've got 2400 pounds in our takings account now what we want to do is we want to do a transfer into our bank account so as you can see, we've got um, transactions in this bank account. Yeah. So this is money's coming in, money's going out, and everything else. Now, say for instance, I'm going to use just this one here. This is money in of £110 um, that we've taken by card for this example. We've taken this money by card through our till system. It's now hit our bank account, so we now need to record that without having to duplicate the VAT. So what we would actually have to select is transfer, transfer from takings account. That's it. You've now deducted 110 pounds from your takings account and put it into your main bank account. You've already recorded the VAT when you actually recorded the takings. This is just showing that you've actually had the money in because, it, because you have a multitude of different sources for, for your income, cash, card, and everything else, not everything is going to go through the bank account because you might have some sundry expenses that you pay. You might have to go and get some change. Not everything's going to go through the bank account um, because there is an element of cash there. So this is how we record the money that actually physically goes into your bank account from your card machine or if you bank the cash into the bank account as well. So very much for pubs and restaurants and cafes where there is a mixture. I know it's mainly card nowadays uh, compared to cash, but where there is a mixture, this is a very, very simple thing to do. And what you can also do 
is create rules, which we'll cover in a different video, but you can create rules for this. So as you can see, that's it done. That's all for today. It's a very, very simple video. If you're new here, welcome. I'm glad you found us. We're releasing a lot of content over Sage Business Cloud. If you're returning, thank you for coming back. Always hit that bell notification and subscribe if if you're new here. Hit that like button if you found the video informative. If you want to ask a question, ask a question. I encourage the interaction. If I haven't explained anything or you just need to just clarify on something, that's fine. If you're after proper advice, I would always recommend to go to your accountant, the professional that's looking after the compliance of your business. Um, if they're not helpful, then come and look us up. We might be able to help you, but certainly go to your professional for actual tax advice on whether what do I do here with this. If it's just about setting up different rules and little things in the software, by all means leave a comment. We're a little, we're a small accountancy practice uh, in Hertfordshire, where it's a family run business. So yeah, like I said, always go to your accounting professional uh, if you have one. If you don't have one, I'd recommend you to have one because there are, you don't want to fall foul of sort of the different rules with HMRC. But until that next time, stay safe and we'll see you soon.